Make meat in my mouth? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm finally learning how to use this thing. It's kind of cool. These high school girls taught me how to use it at McDonald's. I think I like it. Everyone's Victor here with another long ass video. Strap yourselves in. Hey guys, it's Victor and Tomoko. And we're at McDonald's, as you can see. We're squished into a little booth. Very romantic here. Very, very romantic. There's all this extra space over here, but we have to squish into the camera. Cause we've got the tripod set up here on um, a little funny tripod, but anyway. So, what do we have today? So, Grand Big Mac. Grand Big Mac. Let's check this out. It's pretty big. Cute. So it's as big as your head. It's heavy. It's heavy. And we dedicate this Big Mac to Prince. This is a strange thing to say, but yeah. That's pretty sad he died. He's pretty, so young, 57. Yeah, really young. Now, let's look at this thing. I'm sure Prince would never eat this. Or this. Mm. Now, the thing about this thing is, Tomoko, you have to eat, you have to take a bite. bite. Oh, no ketchup, nothing. Oh. No sauce? Ah, no cheese. There's cheese. And onions and onions. Okay, let's take a I'll take a picture of it. So you get, you, get, you get a really nice picture. Ready? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Now this is really not a big deal, it's basically a Big Mac, right? Big Mac. But the whole point of this mm. is that it's huge. Huge. Right? Yes. It's like as big as your head. Okay. So you go ahead and you want to see when you put something, some big meat in your mouth. Big meat in my mouth? Yes. Okay. I can't watch. That's a pretty good bite. Not bad. I'll show you how big the bite was. Ready? This is a post, post tunnel for bite. Ready? You want to tell people what happened to your hand? Mm -hmm. What happened to your hand? Then I practiced cool pose in yoga. Yoga. What kind of pose? Flying pigeon. She was doing the fl flying pigeon mm. in yoga. Mm. And congratulations on your first yoga class, right? She taught her first yoga class. Right? An assignment. She had to do a test class, like a model class? I didn't, uh, I haven't get that uh, certification yet. No license. She's she's teaching unlicensed. But, but it's okay. assign, assignment. Can I have some of your tea? I'm really thirsty. Is it okay? It's assignment. It's going to be a concert to kiss. Are you okay with that? No. No? One hour. Mm, I, I felt it wrong for one hour. Well, taking one hour? Mm, but you always take... 90 minutes or two, two hours. Mm. Mm, good, good. Actually, we both have teeth problems recently, right? It's just, it's just basically a really good hamburger. I mean, it, it is a great, it, there is, it is their signature burger. Signature burger? Mm. Mm. Signature, sign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the food, they mean that thing that they make the best. Their symbol, like their, like the, um, like Tebasaki mm. is Yamachan's signature food. Mm. Right? Mm. It's pretty good. How much was it? 540 yen? Mm. I forgot. I think it's about 500 yen. 540 yen for Tanpin. Tanpin means just the burger. Mm. Of course, you can order a set. Mm. And I forgot the prices. Well, I'm sure we took pictures earlier. Eight, maybe 840 yen or something. Mm. And more. So we don't want french fries. Mm. We don't want french fries. Mm. We don't want french fries. We don't want to eat french fries. Mm. Mm. Pretty good. Mm. Mm. Is this only in Japan? I don't know. 
Probably. It's only in Japan, right? Big one. Yeah. Well, the funny thing about this place is they're offering all these other things like Legos. There's Lego food, like little nano blocks. And they offer what else? I don't know what else. Oh yeah, DVDs now. They're offering DVDs for sale. If you order like a kid's meal, happy meal, you can get DVDs too. Do you like pickles? I like pickles. I'll, I'll save you the pickle. Thank you. Don't you like? I love pickles. I'm just being nice. I'm a gentleman. I'm a nice guy. Well, I got 11,000 um, followers on Twitter today. I don't tweet that much though. A lot of people tweet about like things that I think are kind of minor and unimportant. When I tweet, I want to teach something. So when I tweet, mm, I um, I try to teach some Japanese. When I'm tweeting. What do you tweet? Maggie Sensei. You retweet a lot. What do you tweet? Maggie Sensei is all just tweeting about teaching. Mm -hmm. If you want to follow some, yeah. You know what I don't like when I read a tweet? That's like something vague and like someone is annoyed by something. Someone writes like, stop doing that. Like what are they talking about? I don't know. What do you tweet about? Um, I reply. I'm replying. Replying. Mm -hmm. The subscriber. No. You answer questions and stuff. Do you ever tweet like original tweets? No. Just reply or to show in Instagram the buying the YouTube videos. You're active on Vine? Vine. Vine. I don't do Vine at all anymore. I used to. I used to. Just too busy. Too many things to do. So, this is pretty good, but let me describe what's happening here, okay? So this is McDonald's, and we're in, we're in what used to be the smoking section, what they gave up. Go ahead, you know. The smoking section. You need the power for your yoga. And, um, but they gave up. There's, there's all, it's all non-smoking now. And in this area, I'm looking around, they have these little booths here. And it's mostly couples and moms and daughters, right? So down here, they're all high school girls over there. High school girls over there. Over here, right next to Tomoko, there's an old woman. And maybe her daughter, like a middle-aged woman. Um, a couple salary men sitting alone over there, over there. A couple salary men. What time is it now? It's 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. This place is pretty packed, but this place has lost a lot of money recently. They're closing them down. They closed one down in my neighborhood. So apparently business is bad. They had a couple scandals here, but you know, it's still... And there's a long, long line. It's not a bad thing. I, I'm actually kind of against these fast food places. I never go here. I only go here for you guys. You ever, you ever, you go to McDonald's a lot, no? Never? I hate, I hate, I hate this place. The, well, the food is just, you know, it's just processed crap. Right? It is. I avoid it. I eat enough crap by myself. I have a beer almost every day. Almost every day. Okay, last, last bite. She's very polite. My first girlfriend in Japan, she did, she wasn't polite. Oh, ma'am. The last bite and the first bite. Well, I'll give you the first bite. I have to teach my first girlfriend about sharing food. She would never share food. She would eat everything by herself. We'd order different things. And well, she was a high school kid when I met her, <laughs> not when I dated her. He has many ex girlfriends. So my first girlfriend I met when she was in high school, and I was 22, and she was 18. That's pretty, that's, that's okay, right? <laughs> I'm not like a criminal or anything. Anyway, um... You guys like, you guys you shouldn't go to these places. These places are horrible. <laughs> but they're great, this is the film. They're kind of interesting places to look at people and watch people, right? And people are watching us. So the, the, the woman is watching us, the women are watching us. And most of the high school guys... Well, everyone's on their cell phone and taking selfies. A lot of people doing selfies. We should take a selfie. Take a selfie. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I want to tell Tomoko a story. This week was my son's first um, week, first full week of nursery school. You okay now? You okay? No, you okay, huh? Um, <laughs> 
And on Wednesday, I had the guy most of the afternoon off, but he had kind of a he was slightly feverish in the morning. So my wife said, um, you know, after you after work, you know, if you if you have the afternoon off, go pick him up. So I did. I went to go pick him up. Okay. <laughs> I went to go pick him up. These two really cute girls just sat down right behind me. Yeah, so. very cute. Super, super cute girl. I wish you guys could see it, but you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, and I'm sure they understand that, but that's good. So I went to go pick him up, and he was sleeping. And he's been, you know, he just started kindergarten, so. When I drop him off, he's crying and he's pouty. And kids at that age can't really make friends. They just they just play by themselves or play with the, the adult. So everyone's playing by themselves. Because so they really can't communicate with each other, right? They're not like dogs or anything, chase each other. But they, they're all in the corner playing with toys and stuff. The place is full of toys. It's a really nice nursery school. It's expensive as hell. I'm paying like almost uh, Rokuman a month. So a lot um, but you know they take care of the kid all day they give him food and stuff and they have nap time and my kid is in a room with like I think five to nine other kids I've never seen more than five kids there okay and they have three or four uh, women taking care of them so you know pretty safe and they've got all these locks all over the school so no no, no freaks can get in there okay? anyway I went to go pick him up and he was sleeping and uh, I, I Carefully, you know, I didn't bring a bag or anything. I thought I'm just gonna pick him up, and take him home. So I carried him uh, home. It's about a 20-minute walk, I guess. And on the way home, you, get, you know, he's still like 11 kilograms, so you get tired. So I found a park, and I thought I'm just gonna rest here in the park and sit down. So I sat down in the park, and when I sat down, he kind of woke up. And um, and we were just, he was just sitting on my lap, okay, and. Kind of just staring out at everything. Right? So I had my hand on him like that, and you're just looking at the leaves and looking at the wind. It was a really beautiful, windy day, cool day, and the the, the the trees are swaying, and the park is empty and it's clean. Like there's no garbage, there's no homeless people, nothing. It's a beautiful little park. There's a temple behind me, and I was thinking, this is just perfect, and I'm just so happy and this is just never gonna happen again because <laughs> you rarely have that chance right you rarely have the chance to do things like that and it felt like this is a one-time only thing and it was really nice so it, made... it will continue no no but that moment oh, I was just sitting in the park on a Wednesday afternoon oh. with my tie and my suit and everything and enjoying uh, the, that moment was great and he's just sitting there and he's just enjoying it too looking around and his, and his shoes were off he didn't have any shoes on no socks no shoes so i got my hand on his little pudgy cute little feet and squeezing his feet and then i put it then after a while i put on his socks and shoes and i let him walk around and i made a couple like uh stop motion video I don't know how to describe it, but I felt just so lucky at that moment to be able to do that and appreciative. Um, and I thought, you know, I, I wish I could do this every single day. Just hang out in a park. <laughs> this sounds so strange now. Hang out in a park with a little baby, with a baby, <laughs> and just enjoy. I mean, just enjoy that. And I think it's a, it's a, you know, it's something that everyone experiences in some way. Even if you don't have a son or a kid, everyone has that moment, you know, where they, they can experience something like that. I just thought I really need to appreciate that more because I don't know, I don't do that enough. And half of me wants to videotape everything for you guys so I can show you. <laughs> no, half of me does. I want to say I want to show you guys. Oh look at this moment is so beautiful. I want to videotape these two girls behind me because they're so cute, right? It's just for them, not for me. For them. But, um, but, I, but I, again, uh, half of me wants to just do nothing and appreciate that moment. 
But recently when I come home at night, my son is finally, or when I leave in the morning, he's finally starting to like, like me, or act like he likes me. Like before I feel like he's like, who's that guy? You know? Uh, what do you or do this or do that? Like he accepts me, of course. And, but I mostly like do things for him. I like, change my diaper guy. That's my uh, help me, you know, carry me here and carry me there guy. My driver. But but sitting in the park, and the funny thing is, I, I left it, like, in the park. It, the park was pretty huge, right? like um, like maybe almost a football field size. And I put him way far away at the, at the bench. He was standing there, and I ran all the way across to the park. Not really ran, ran, but I, I walked really far away from him. And I took a long video as he slowly walked over, and he was not panicking at all. He didn't come towards me. He just like walked around and just enjoying things. Yeah, I, I almost, I, I felt like crying. It was such a good moment. It's, you know. So I think sometimes, for me, sad things don't make me cry so much. As the sometimes happy moments, you know, after sadness, after having a tough time. There's this great video that we're studying in class called Eric and Petey about a man who loses his dog. And I, every time I watch that video, I cry every single time. And it's not when PD dies. I'm sorry, it's spoilers. PD dies. It's not when PD dies. It's when he gets Jake, the new dog. Remember? When he goes to the shelter and picks up the new dog? He gets the new dog, and when, when he starts running with the new dog, I feel like that's when I start like tearing up. Like, oh, it's because it's a happy moment, you know? And I think it like represents hope. Anyway, that's my that's my laundry bag. What do you think? I never did a laundry bag with anyone listening. I'm I'm listening. <laughs> Recently, the new fad is is uh, teenage girls are making these videos. I'm watching over there. They're making these videos where their tongues come out. There's an app where the tongue goes. Ah, you seen those? Uh, I don't know what that is. Mm. We should do that. Yeah. We should try that. Everyone's doing that. Anyway, that's that's my longest video. Um, thanks for watching. And thanks for and don't ever buy one of these burgers. It's not. It's just a. We ate it for you, so you don't have to. Right? Anything that? <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> I hope you listen. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. So I'm finally learning how to use this thing. It's kind of cool. These high school girls taught me how to use it at McDonald's. I think I like it. If you need help, then dial your operator.